Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today is a full fridge clean out and reorganization. This is going to be a very, very practical fridge organization video, a fridge clean out video. I know a lot of times I get tempted by those aesthetic fridges that I see on Instagram, maybe on TikTok or Pinterest or any other form of social media. And it seems so desirable to have my refrigerator look like that but I personally don't find that type of organizing, especially in a place where things turn over so quickly to actually be practical. So I want this refrigerator to be practical for me. I want what you're seeing here to hopefully be practical for you. And hopefully you can relate to this being a little bit more on the realistic side. So as I'm doing any fridge or freezer organization, I try to take items out in phases. I'm starting with a door. That's always the easiest for me to tackle first. I find it to be a good way to get started with things because it's not as overwhelming as the rest of the refrigerator. So as I pull things out, I am putting them into categories. I'm checking expiration dates and I'm also making sure that they're items that I use. In general, I try not to buy too many ingredients that are specific for just one recipe. That just creates clutter, causes food items to expire, and is a way that you often end up wasting money. So once I have those items all decluttered and categorized, I've pulled all of the bins out of the refrigerator door and I'm going to get some warm soapy water going in one side of my sink and get to scrubbing and cleaning these things off. You're still I do try and clean out my refrigerator often and just wipe it down, wipe the shelves down, sometimes wipe inside some of these bins on the door, especially if I notice that there's a spill or anything like that. But it is so important to do a full fridge clean out and take out everything that you can take out really deep clean it in your sink as often as you can every once in a while. And I'll show you a little bit later why that's so important. I'm using a mild cleaner here to clean off the inside of the door. I try not to use anything that has too much scent to it just because it's inside of the refrigerator and that's where we store our food, of course. So something that is mild and doesn't have a really, really strong scent is typically fine for the inside of the refrigerator. The sun is always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind the shades, and you're doing the same. growing where your heart is fire but baby i bet you're cold without me even when it's 90 degrees without me i bet that you can get it asleep in the bed lying away cause i'm not there beside you keeping you warm and i know i bet you're cold Now I can get all of those parts back on the door. At the top one, I always store my butter. And if I have cream cheese, that goes up there as well. The sun is always shining bright. I'm going to try to organize things on the countertop just so I don't have the refrigerator door open as long. It makes it a little bit more difficult to install them, but that's okay. It makes it pretty easy because I've already gone through and somewhat made categories as I was decluttering these items a little bit earlier as you saw. Now I'm just going to figure out how they fit inside of the bins. Without me, I bet that you can get it asleep in 
I started by putting them up really high to try and fit everything nicely. I did open and close the door a few times just to make sure things fit because I have in the past in different refrigerators as well as this one tried installing things on the door and then if you put it in the wrong spot it hits the inside and doesn't close properly and then I'm just readjusting as I can and spacing them out a bit more. All of these labels that you see here are great because they are reusable. There are a few others that come in the pack that I got that I'm not using here so they are pretty versatile and again great because they're reusable and you can peel them off to clean out your refrigerator really well and stick them back on Time to tackle the rest of the refrigerator, pulling things out in phases again, and I want to clean off all of the shelves in the sink, give it a good scrub. I'm trying to conserve water here, so I have half of my sink still with that warm soapy water, and I'm doing a scrub on one side and a rinse out on the other. Who is the color of when you were leaving? Tell me, let me know what you One of the tough parts, as I mentioned, about a refrigerator is the fact that things are constantly rotating. You may have some staple items and things that you do typically have in your refrigerator or always have in your refrigerator. But in general, if you're like me, you have leftovers rotating in and out depending on what you're cooking at home or your preferences or foods that you're finding on sale at the grocery store. Things are just always rotating. So it's difficult to make too stringent of an organizational system. I would recommend for the items that are in your fridge all the time, finding some sort of a home or some sort of a system so you know maybe what shelf they're on. You don't have to have a particular organizer for them, but maybe having a particular place where they're typically stored would be helpful for both you and your family to know where to find things. In the past, I've organized and had a shelf that I like to use for all of my leftovers and foods that are already cooked and prepared and a separate shelf for foods that I am using to prepare meals. So if I buy a thing of mushrooms that I'm gonna put on a homemade pizza, that would be on one shelf versus the shelf that would actually store leftovers of that homemade pizza. Now you'll see why it's so important to do this deep clean and take everything out in the grooves of the shelf. It was so dirty in here. So I stuck my finger there and wiped out all of the stuff that I could. Top shelf I usually have for drinks, sometimes yogurt, if I have cottage cheese and other little dairy products like that. And I love the rollout caddy that I have that I store drinks on, so that is great. And I will link that in the description box if you are interested in any of the organizing products you see here. And if I miss something and you wanna know where something's from, just leave me a comment below and I will do my best to get back to you and provide a link. So the smaller roll-out bin is where I keep all of the foods that are prepared for our one-year-old son. Our nanny knows that everything that's on that little roll-out caddy is fair game for him. It makes it easier for me to prepare meals for him and just to have things that are pre-cut up and appropriate for his age. You'll see there's a few things I was able to declutter and throw away. I decided not to donate them just because they've been used. And then I'm going to go back in the refrigerator and the second I take out this bottom drawer, you can see how 
bad the spill was. I didn't even know that there was something that had spilt in the refrigerator. Can't tell you what this is, but it was very stuck on. There was a lot of liquid. Once I got the liquid away, it wouldn't wipe off that easily. So I got out my soft scrub and my scrub daddy and was able to clean it, but I am mortified by how bad that was. I thought about cutting this clip out, but I want you to see the real life of how bad this was and and hopefully encourage you to clean out your refrigerator even if even if you feel like maybe it doesn't need it because you never know what's lurking behind all of those drawers. You can see the spill continued back up higher. I still was using my scrub daddy. I was using a lot of paper towels here as opposed to my microfiber cloths because I didn't want to stain them and it was just such a complete mess. But finally I got that cleaned out and could go back to the normal routine of cleaning out these drawers in the sink with my warm soapy water and pulling everything out. glad I didn't take any shortcuts as I was cleaning everything out. I thought maybe I could just clean out the bins that had the fruit in it because that's where any of the mess would have been and it wouldn't have been in the drawer. But once I took the organizers out that had the fruit in them, I found that there was still a little bit of a mess inside the drawer. And I was surprised by how many little pieces and things were in the organizers that had the fruit, little stems from apples or avocados. And again, just happy that I didn't take any shortcuts and chose to clean it all out the proper way. Then I can fill back up all of these containers. They rotate a little bit. I like to have one for lemons and limes, typically one for apples, one for avocados. But as you'll see, that's not really the case for what I have in the fruit bins today. I have a lot of pears, a bunch of oranges that I don't always have. So not labeling things is sometimes the better option for me. I just know that this bin is for fruits and avocados, I guess, but it rotates and I like to keep like items together, but where it is exactly exactly in the drawer does sometimes change. Ooh, yeah. Let's be honest for a second. Yeah, you'll be in over your head, babe. Cause there is no one other than me that can make you feel Next up is the cheese drawer. I don't do a lot of organizing in here. I've shared that before because I just find it to be such a small drawer and not efficient to do that. Same with the bottom drawer. That's where I put all of my vegetables usually and other fresh produce that doesn't fit in the fruit bin down there, but it is typically veggies. So I'm going to put that veggie label there on the drawer of the fridge, as well as the other labels for the other drawers. Don't take it slow, don't be gentle. Just 
Last step is to clean off the outside of the refrigerator and I'm using a stainless steel cleaner there and my microfiber cloth. And then there was a little bit of a break here because I ran to the grocery store. And in addition to the clean out and organization, I'm doing a little bit of a fridge restock with you. So you'll see I bought one more organizer at the store when I picked up my groceries and that was for our milk. Because we have a one-year-old who is now drinking cow's milk, I buy milk in the large jugs. We sometimes buy it from Costco and it takes up so much space in the refrigerator. So I bought a glass pitcher that I can pour the milk into and put the rest of the jug in our basement refrigerator so it doesn't have to take up all of our space. Then you'll see I'm restocking the drawers. I have some veggies that I can put in the veggie drawer. I have some refrigerated pouches for our son that I'm putting in there. And I also have some more fruit to put in the fruit drawer. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back Now everything is restocked, so here is an after. It is not necessarily the perfect, perfect, aesthetically pleasing refrigerator, but it is so functional for me and for my family, and you'll see it is real life with those leftovers in there and some space for things to change. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Let's wrong, let it all